Hi, my name is John. Welcome to part 7 and probably the last part of the review of the Artec 250 amp inverter welder. Uh, this is a bit I've been looking forward to. This is like the high, the high performance test of it. Like. I'm going to turn it up flat out and see what it will actually weld. I'm going to plug it with 30 tonne supply so I can use the full potential of the welder, which is 250 amps. Um, it's probably a bit like buying a car, you know, when you get a car and you, you've got to show faster, faster, that thing will go up. Well, I want to say exactly what this thing will do. I've got some bits of inch plate, um, we'll tack them together, run some weld beads across them, and I'll try and get some decent shots uh, through the camera with a lens in front of the camera, welding. Okay, this is, this is 20 mil plate, you can see how well you have a go at it. Um, what we'll do, we'll put a couple of tacks on each end and then put a weld bead along there. One good tack on the back. And there's some serious, uh, some serious weld metal going in there. It's a nice weld by anybody's standard. We have coming a bit close. I'll put another two beads in. I'll put a bead along the bottom edge, and then the one across the top, and try and catch them all together. and one want to cut the top and tie it all together I think we've sort of, we've proved it lays, a, it lays quite a decent weld you notice when I, when I stopped welding there I kept the torch if I let go the trigger I kept the torch near the job and that burns the wire off to the right right length to start up again so you don't get the pop noise when you start welding again. One more run into there. I mean that really is putting weld in. Put a heavy wall pipe here, get an eight, maybe ten mil wall pipe. I'll open an inch plate. Maybe we'll get a attack on it first. Right. I think you'll agree that's getting a, a fairly decent hold. I think you'll agree that you can certainly put down a nice weld bead with one mil wire at 250 amps. 
What you can also do, you can do MMA welding, stick welding. It's capable of putting out 200 amps DC to stick weld. You might think, well, why, why, would you want to stick weld with a, a big welding set? Well, there's a few reasons. You could have to work outside. If you've got to go outside and it's windy, MIG doesn't like the wind, it blows a gas shield away. It could be near the end of the day, you could have no MIG wire left, no gas left, you've got to finish a job off. It's a simple matter, one connection, stick weld, sling her in, a stick weld rod, and you're, you're in business, you can finish a job off. Could be a tight space where you've got to get into a tight crevice where you can't get a big gun in. You can with a, a thin welding rod. All you need with this machine to stick weld is this stinger. It's a lead with a lip row hole up on the end. You've already got the earth lead. I'll show you what the connections are for the, the stick welding, it's simple enough. You've got your two gin sockets down there, positive and negative. Your earth lead, just the same, same lead goes into negative. That goes onto your, onto your bench, onto your workpiece, whatever. Other connector, positive one. That's where your electrode holder, where your stinger plugs into. And your welding rod goes in the end of that. The switch on top of here, rocker switch, position it's got a shot of a MIG torch and a stinger. Turn it on to stick well, not MMA, and you've got a control there, MMA amps. Goes from 0 to 10, which is 0 to 200. So halfway is 100 amps, 50 amps, 150. What you do, you, you set your amperage up, you get a rough idea of what you're going to need for the rod. The rods I'm using run about 75 amps. So you would set it roughly 75, try it. You need that adjust the welding current up or down to suit. Uh, I, like, I like stick welding uh, with inverter sets. It puts out a nice, very nice smooth arc. You can get away with a lot on, on stick welding that you certainly couldn't get away with on TIG and you'd struggle with MIG. Rust like that, you can burn the rust, you can burn it for a rust like that, no problem. It's obviously better if the metal is clean, but mill scale like that, you can burn through it. See, I've got the earth passing onto a nice decent plate. That's my stinger. Electrode holder. The feel is you can put the rod in, you can have a rod sticking straight out the end, 90 degrees, 45 degrees. What most people just do is put it in and they bend it to whatever angle is comfortable for your welding. The rod we're going to use, it's a 6013 rod, multi purpose, multi position. Mail seal rod, that easy to use. Welding current on these is between 50 and 100 amps, 75 amps in normal, in normal starting point. Anyway, we'll fire it up and uh, we'll run some weld beads. One thing you've got to remember is as soon as you turn the set on, this is live, so you don't lie on the bench because it'll straighten off. One thing with we'll stick welding, MMA welding, you get nasty fumes, you need good ventilation. Put all the sealing glasses on. Right. I think we'll have the amp set about just about ready. You can see how the flux is starting to the flux is cracking, starting to come of itself. That is a pretty, that's a pretty weld. There's a strong weld as well. That's why I don't like I don't like stick welding. Got a bit of much heavier stuff here. Uh, both 10 mil plates. Uh, I've got a, a heavier rod. 
uh, rod for welding to similar metals, stainless steel based rod. I'll put a couple of tacks on and we'll weld along there. The way I've got it set up here, you couldn't get your MIG going into there to weld that, but you can get a stick in, no problem, and you can run a bead of weld along there. And quite often you can't get the MIG torch in, but you can get a thin, a thin welding rod in. They've certainly welded. Right. I put one more run down there just to just to finish the rod off. That's really burning in there. I would use a lovely colour, the stainless rod. To sum up, if I was using this welder all the time, I would probably use it on 0.8 wire. I would probably put a smaller torch on. It's a 250 torch, 250 amp torch. I'd probably put a 150 amp torch on and run 0.8 wire all the time. That would weld most things from cars up the box section and a quarter of an inch thick. Any thick on that, I'll be putting a big torch on, going with a one mil wire. You've seen it's perfectly capable of producing good stick welds, and it certainly does good MIG welds. I'm not quite finished uh, playing with the welder yet. I've got some aluminium wire coming and an aluminium uh, roller and a different sleeve for the gun. Uh, so I'm going to try doing some aluminium welding with it. I've got the pure organ gas. I've done aluminium welding with MIG before, uh, but used a spool gun. The actual actual MIG torch had this had the spool of wire in. So it'll be interesting to try it on aluminium, uh, see what sort of results we'll get. The aluminium welding I did was with a transformer type welder. Uh, having an inverter welder that's smoother, it should in theory produce a better weld. Anyway, that'll be for the next video. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.